Hello. In this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from Leviticus chapter 15, verse 31, asking the question, why is cleanliness emphasized? Leviticus chapter 15, verse 31 says, Thus you shall keep the people of Israel separate from their uncleanness, lest they die in their uncleanness by defiling my tabernacle that is in their midst. So the reading associated with this devotional is Leviticus 13 through 15. If you haven't read it yet, let me tell you what it's about. It's about medical examinations for skin diseases and about different bodily fluid emissions and the ritual state those conditions put a person of Israel in. It's not necessarily the easiest thing for me to talk about, but the thing we need to emphasize when we look at the different discharge laws or we're looking at the different cleanliness laws is to emphasize that God is holy and because he makes his presence there with the people of Israel, they must also be holy. So here are three thoughts on why is cleanliness emphasized from Leviticus 15 verse 31. Thought number one, Israel was to be clean. Israel was going to be different from all of the nations around it. They were going to be cleaner. They were going to eat different food. They were going to wear different clothes. They were going to have a different cultural distinctiveness that would set them apart from the nations around them. And the reason they were to be different and distinct was because the Lord was going to dwell among them. He was going to be there with them in the tabernacle. And because the Lord was going to make his presence among the people of Israel, they would not be able to survive his holiness if they were unclean. Thought number two, uncleanness kills. If you are in the presence of the holy, almighty creator of the universe, which Israel was, you could not be constantly violating his holiness. He simply wouldn't tolerate it. So when the Lord gives Israel all of these different rules about purity and about cleanliness, what he's doing, in addition to giving them some good health tips, because let's face it, being clean is healthier than being dirty. He is demonstrating how they can live and survive in his presence. In those moments where things like the Ark of the Covenant are taken by other nations, what inevitably happens is that sickness and death break out when the Gentile peoples come into the presence of the Almighty God. Their uncleanness kills them, or their lack of holiness results in their death because of the great holiness of God. Thought number three, God is holy. God's holiness means that he is other. He is different. He is separate. He is completely set apart from all of creation. Not just all of creation as it was made when it was made good, but especially when all of creation is suffering under the penalty of sin. So God, in his holiness, will not tolerate the lack of cleanliness from his people. So he sets up these systems by which they can be made ceremonially clean. That way they might be able to dwell with him and stand before him. All of this is important for us to see and to recognize because we know as Christian people that it is only through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ that we who are unclean might ever survive the presence of a holy God. These three thoughts come to you from the reading Leviticus chapters 13 through 15. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by joining the Facebook group Through the Bible.
where we are reading the text of Scripture together.